Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDie.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Teach Me Tuesdays, episode 163. I'm so glad that you're here joining me today. And if you are new, make sure you say hi and let me know where you're coming from and welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. And just so you know, I'm watching live with you off to the side in the chat. So if you have any questions at all during the video, just ask me. If you're watching on a replay, then just leave a comment below. YouTube will let me know that you have a question um, or comment in, and then I can reach out to you if you have any questions. So um, let me introduce myself. I'm Diana with, um, and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I have been a demonstrator, oh my gosh, since May of 1999. So that's a long, long time. And I am um, close to hitting my million dollars in lifetime sales. So that's pretty exciting. I can kind of see it off in the distance. So if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be that demonstrator for you um, and to help you with your needs. So I um, come live, usually pre-taped, just because um, out in Santan Valley, we're out in the boonies and um, we can see the stars at night and things like that. But it also means our internet is a little spotty and kind of glitchy at times. So I have just been pre-taping so that the videos are a lot more clear and I don't have any disruption during the live, which is very frustrating to everybody, including me, including you. It's just, um, it's, I don't like that. So I have been pre-taping and that works so much better. So like I said, if you have any questions, I'm off to this side and I love our little conversations that we have in there and the friendships that are growing over there as well. I love when you, you pop it and you go, oh, hi, you know, hi, Linda, you know, hi, Rhonda, like you're talking to each other. So that's pretty, pretty fun. All right, so I'm going to stop blabbing so I can turn the camera so we can get started. Close your eyes for a second while I get adjusted. All right, so we're going to have fun today with the owl. So I haven't um, showed these because these are um, one of the items that people are getting. I have a spring social that's coming up in February. So this was one of the items that everybody is getting in their um, spring social um, box. So I'm so bad, so I haven't even really been showing the owl on there because I've been doing stuff with it for that. But I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do um, do the owls today because they are so adorable. Now I will be doing these guys as a class in um, April. So keep that in mind. And I'm also using the Give It A Whirl die as well. All right. So let's see, let's see. So we are going to, um, so I'm gonna have some fun. Now I learned this really fun technique from Brian King and that's what we're gonna use today. So we're gonna actually use, it's gonna make it look like it's embossed. And we're just using shipping tape. So I have that off to the side and I'm also using the same DSP as I used the other day, and that's the Rain or Shine DSP, <clears throat> and I just loved it. I have so many packs of it, and it is too, too cute. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, I'm going to be doing another calendar, so hopefully you're not tired of the calendars. I could do these all the time. And it's basically a card turned into a calendar. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to make a calendar, then you just don't make it a calendar. And I'll give you another idea after. Um, but I've been sending a little calendar in my welcome boxes to um, my team that join. And so I need to make some more. So if you join during celebration, you can actually pick the new little um, Boho Mini and I call them boho mini because it's a new um, boho blue color. So it's a little mini um, cut and emboss machine. So you can add him to your starter kit if you join during celebration. Now, if you don't like the blue, you can pick the white one as well. All right. So I would love for you to join my team. And I just need to make more calendars because I already sent all the ones I had 
um, made already. So I I love that. My team is growing. All right, so we are using Tahitian. Now, like I said, this is just a regular card. So it's just um, eight and a half by um, five and a half. I'm going to remeasure because it's I, I know that's the right measurement, but with sometimes I make a boo-boo. All right, so hang on a minute. So yeah, eight and a half by five and a half, just like I thought. And then it's scored at four and a quarter. So just like, you know, you're making a regular card. And then whatever way this opens for the calendar, you will cut a piece that's the same. So this is five and a half by four. I always have it before. Um, I don't know why, but that's just like it's just easier to remember. Then you're going to score it. So you're going to score it at two and a half and then half an inch on each side. And that makes this little um, easel. Now you wouldn't have to put a calendar on there. You could um, simply just make it be a standing card right like you want someone to enjoy it all right so we're just going to put some green tip glue now this is just a tombow multi that's in the catalog i've just put it in a little container that makes it a little easier to use i just squish it in there a lot of times people are like well how are you getting it in there and i'm like i just squish it in there <laughs> so and then just go tap 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 you know to fill it up all right and then that doesn't take long to glue then I just lay this down so if you've watched any of my calendar videos before it's basically the same I just love the way this looks I've done long ones skinny ones you can make them all sorts of shapes all right so like I said it doesn't take very long and now you've got your little easel that stands on your desk it folds flat you can mail it and you're all good to go all right so let's bring over my other pieces so I'm also going to put these together now this is that rain or shine paper and depending on how you cut it so I wanted this to be for a regular card so this piece here my parakeet you know me and parakeet parakeet is four by five and a quarter and then this is three and three quarter by five so we're just coming down a quarter of an inch each time so what I did was I cut my um, this paper like I went five and then I went three and three quarter and then I did another three and three quarter so depending on what you want to use so the first three and three quarter gave me totally clouds but the next three and three quarter gave me clouds and flowers so that's the one that I ended up wanting to use but now I have you know a few that I can make cards that are totally just clouds in the air and then I also have some that are just daisies and then you can always use the back side which is super cute paper too so like I said this DSP is adorable so that I just wanted to make you know how I got the paper all right so let's get back to our stamping so we are going to use the cute little owls i am going to be coloring with the the um stamp and blends so that means we're going to stamp our owl with the memento get her good and stamped these owls like i said oh my gosh i've been having so much fun with them for the spring social but I thought, you know what? You might want to see, if you're not doing my spring, spring social, you might want to see how cute they are too. All right. I also, while that's drying, I'm just going to, on a piece of scrap, stamp Hoot Hoot. You're so cute. All right. I just like to give my owl a little bit of time to dry just because I just inked my pad and sometimes if you go and color right away sometimes that memento might bleed a little bit or smear so I like to give it just a little bit of time for it to dry so while it's drying for really good I'm just going to glue this glue this together all right 
So I picked parakeet, even though there's not parakeet in here, it's got old olive. Um, the old olive is kind of saturated in area, so granny apple would go. But I, like I said, parakeet is my go-to, and it's just a happy green. So that's the, the green I chose to put behind there. Plus, I love the look of parakeet and the Tahitian together. All right. And then I also had did my clouds earlier. So these are from that Give It A Whirl die. And I used them the other day with my Mimeograph Monday. So if you don't have the, the Give It A Whirl die, you want to definitely get it. And it makes this, this real fun um, flip card. And what's funny is I have never even used it as the flip card because it is still stuck to the card. I've just been using like all the other pieces that come with it. All right, so our owl should be good and dry. So let's color her really quickly. So when I saw this technique, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do this. And then I I just kind of put it on the back burner and I was just like, oh, you know what? I need to show that. And this was what I was gonna show Friday when we had internet problems. So you're actually getting more of a card because I'm actually finishing the card instead of just showing like the quick little technique. All right, so we're coloring our little owl. And this Tahitian blue is the perfect little um, color, I think, for their eyes. So that was the light. Now this is the dark, and I'm just going to put it by that pupil. I don't know who drew this set, but oh. Once I get my million, I get to help design a stamp set. And I've been just making notes. This is Dark Pumpkin. I've just been kind of like writing things down as it comes to my head. Like, oh, I would like to stamp set that did this or that. Or just things I like. And I usually write down. Like, I like the person that drew this stamp set or that stamp set. And this stamp set is so cute. So I don't know who drew it. But they're one of my favorite. Or at least the style, right? Okay, now, you know me and my little cheek. So, flirty flamingo, light flirty flamingo over here. Okay. I'm just grabbing my blends. Not in any order, obviously. This is light gray granite because around the blue, this is where the white of the eye is, but I don't want to just leave it white. So, I'm just going to take my light gray granite and just in that corner... I'm just gonna put a little gray. I'm not doing the whole thing. I don't want it to look like a gray eye. I just want it to have a little bit of a shadow as it comes out of there. And I don't know if you can see that or not. So see, it's just got a little bit of a gray coming out. Okay, so now let's finish our cheeks. Oh, I forgot her belly. Hold on a second. I wanna put a little flirty on her belly as well. And these owls can be any color. I've done them in many different colors, but I'm just picking these today. All right, now this is pale um, pe petal pink, and this is the dark. And I'm going dark petal, and I'm going right over the flirty. That's going to soften that a little bit, but you're still going to see that pink underneath that petal. So this is dark petal. And then we'll finish it with a light. So it's just going to have this really light look on the belly as well as around her eyes. And years ago, we had an owl in the backyard. And I have pictures on like an old blog post. And it was so cool. Like, I don't know how long she stayed there, a boy or a girl. I don't know. <laughs> but um, it was so cool. And then finally, just one day, they were gone. All right, I forgot to do the ear holes. So we're going to do our ear holes with the flirty flamingo as well. And then let's put our... Um, so this is the five, 400 and, and 600 in the tones. And I do have a chart. You can catch that chart on my blog. My blog address is over here. I also have a video how I use the chart in order to, um, you know, just kind of 
make um, ordering the tones and kind of know which which looks whatever um, you can catch that print that out but I like to kind of um, because these two don't come in the same pack but I like to skip a number it just seems like I get a little bit more of a change in them all right so you can see like the light in the dark a little better all right and then around the face so I'm just turning it upside down so that when I'm coloring I have this empty spot here not that it smears but sometimes my jewelry can um, make a mess of the paper which is weird all right okay so we have number 600 now I'm gonna take number 400 and we're just gonna add a little dark so I want some dark right here up as it goes into her nose a little bit on her ears a little bit under her head and so just where it would be a little dark and what's nice about picking the the um, tones that don't aren't from the same pack you do get that little bit more of a um, definite change in color so let me hold her up so see how cute she is so you can see you know she's got dark areas if you don't like the dark area then you can just come back and add a little bit more it doesn't blend in like our um, like how I did the Tahitian because they are the same color the 400 and the 600 come from a different family so it looks a little bit different but I love that look to it oh she is so cute okay so now the fun part not that coloring is not fun all right so now we're gonna take our packing tape bring this over so we have our little cute little um owl she was stamped on basic white with the memento and colored with the blends and then i'm just going to take some packing tape squeak 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 all right and i'm just going to take the packing tape and put it right over my owl and i'm just going to rub it really good on there so just make sure you know there's no bumps or whatever so just take your time when you're adding it all right then i'm going to cut that away because it's going to stick everywhere so i just got a little extra more packing tape so that you know i didn't leave any fingerprints or whatever all right so i'm going to cut around my owl now i don't know if they sell fatter packing tape or not so just keep that in mind um, when you're picking out your images to do you want to make sure the packing tape will cover um, I don't think I'd want to seam it like I don't want to think I would I don't think I want to try to put two pieces and try to get the seam not to show that's just me all right but this little guy was perfect and I'm just taking my snips and we're just cutting around our cute little owl now these little guys don't have a die. I wish they did because they are super adorable. And I have been using them like crazy. All right, but they are super easy to cut out as you can see. There's not a lot of um, intricate things. And then I just kind of go like this. But what's fun is it, it traps in your color so you definitely if you're going to do anything to it if you're going to you know you know how sometimes i add gel pen or whatever you don't want to forget to color an area because once you put that tape on there you're kind of stuck all right so go around and then we can finish our card okay so look how cute the little card is now so this is what I meant about if you wanted if you didn't want to make a calendar and what's fun is so this is the legendary ride 
So this is the legendary ride. I stamped on just basic white and I used the stays on. So it was nice and black. I did the same thing. I put the tape on there. But what's cool is the legendary ride, it comes with a die. So then I just put the die on there and I just ran it through my machine and it cut. So I didn't have to fussy cut out my bike. But now look at my bike. It is so shiny. It looks like it's been heat embossed, you know, like with clear embossing powder. But it's just that packing tape. So that's what I mean if, if you were like, well, I don't want to make a calendar. So let's pretend um, we're doing this card. So let's say we want to do this card. So we have our fun little bike coming through here. We could put our hoot hoot, you're so cute on there. And what if we made our little owl be driving the bike? So I would just stick this little guy back here. Maybe bring this arm forward so he's holding the bike. I don't know, I haven't played, but I was just like, oh, this would be so cute. So I'll have to finish a card and then post it later. But wouldn't that be fun? So this would be kind of neat. If you um, didn't want to do a calendar, you might be able to move the calendar up. If you were like, oh, I want to make one, but I still want to make it a calendar. So this is just me playing. So look how fun that would be. You could even make them be kind of, um, evil can evilly and make the bike go up but you could you know put your little calendar back here if you wanted so anyways but so that's just an idea i will finish it as a real card because i need to do another owl i didn't want um to make you sit through me coloring two owls but i will finish this card and then i'll post it on my blog so just make sure you go to my blog later um to, to see the finished little um, Evil Knievel Owl. All right, so here is the piece that we already did. And we'll stick that on the card. We're on our um, calendar. All right, so now some of your um, DSP, if you cut it this size, some will have the little embossed clouds, some won't. It just depends on where you are doing it. All right, so I should have probably designed this before I stuck it to the calendar, but that's okay. It squishes down pretty easy. That's what's so fun about them because you can mail them really easily because they do um, they do just fold right down and fit in a regular envelope. All right, and then I'm always asked where I got the little um, calendars and those are from vippies.com and I, I had the link before but let me um, write that down let's see v i p p i e s dot com that's where I get the little calendars the size that I use are medium Sorry, my, I scribble. All right, our medium. So that's the size I use. So you can get small, medium, and I think there's one, like I think there's a large. I don't know if they sell um, more than those sizes, but these are medium. All right, just so you know um, what, what the sizes are. And I did have a little one somewhere, and now I can't find it. Anyway, just to, I could have shown you. Oh, here's the little tiny ones. So here's how the little tiny ones are, so you can see the difference. Not with this. I took this off my um, little gnome that um, Rhonda, Lola Rhonda sent me, but just to show you the difference. Okay, so let's get back to our calendar. So it just, you peel that off. So now I'm going to put my clouds on with glue dots because I want them to have a, I want them to be raised a little bit, but I don't want them to be raised a lot because I want my owl to be like the focal point, I just kind of want the clouds in the background, you know, just as like an accent. So we're just going to put these on with glue dots. And let's see, I'll put this one over here. And then this one. Now this is just basic white I chose for my clouds today. The other day I was doing some in shimmery. I still have a couple on my desk. So you can see kind of the difference in color. I don't know if you can see or not. But this one is a shimmery one. And 
down here, I guess the camera doesn't pick it up as as much as your like your real eye does. All right, now this cloud, I'm going to have it be off here a little bit. So it's kind of coming in to the picture. And then we're going to put our cute little owl. She's going to go right there. And I'm just going to use some dimensionals. Now these are from a kit. And there's a new kit coming tomorrow. I cannot wait to get that ordered. So I can share that with you. But there's a new wreath kit coming tomorrow and this is where this smaller dimensional comes from sometimes I don't use them all so don't throw them away use them all up all right so not all kits have dimensional some just have the little glue dots some have tear tape it just depends on what the kits about all right so let's see let's put our cute little owl right there so she's flying along so look how adorable she is. I have a mess everywhere. Look how adorable she is. And you can see her. Let me see. See, look at. So look how she shines. Now, if I wanted, I could have totally covered the clouds in that tape and then just ran them through and then my clouds would shine too. But I just wanted my owl to be shiny. But isn't that fun? So here's the one I did earlier. So you can see the difference. Um, they're pretty pretty close but like I said so remember I said some depending on where you cut your DSP sometimes you'll have little clouds and sometimes you won't so this one didn't have any clouds at all but this paper is so adorable so I'm gonna play around with these this one so that will mean me doing another little owl I could color the owls all day all right so let me say see you later alligator so hopefully you like that I think it's so cute what, what do you, do you like the calendars? Um, I mean, it's still, well, it is the last day of January. Don't forget. So speaking of that, it's also the last day for my host code, the last day for my goodies and guts for January. So um, don't forget about that. You can read more about that <laughs> on my blog. And um, if you have any questions at all, make sure you reach out. Um, if you want more information about joining my team and picking the little mini boho, I would love to talk to you about that. I would love to have you, have you join my team and send you a little welcome box with some um, other stuff in there as well as a calendar. And um, I think that's all I want to blab about today. Um, have a great night. I will see you Friday for my dyes shorts. That's 3 o'clock Arizona time, same time same channel um and thanks so much for joining me today i'll see you friday all right bye for now